Hi again, it's Paul DeCane for DV247.com. In today's Logic 9 tutorial, we're going to be looking at two recently introduced plugins for Logic 9, which are the Pedalboard and Amp Designer plugins. Primarily guitar based, uh, they can be used on many other applications, for example, synthesizers, vocals, drums especially, to really crunch up and change the sound completely. Okay, let's jump straight in and have a look at Amp Designer first of all on this particular acoustic guitar sample. Uh, if we just launch the Amp Designer plugin, it's bypassed at the moment so we can't hear any effects through it. But we can just take a quick look around the user interface. We've got a uh, drop down menu on the bottom left which gives you a selection of combinations, combos of amps and cabinets which are pre-selected for you to try out. From there on they can be customised using the, changing the amp and the cabinet selections and even the microphone type and the position, we'll come to that shortly. The actual um, amp itself can have its EQ, dynamic effects and uh, the master gain etc and various other things which will change with each particular model selected. So let's select for example a small sunshine combo, take the bypass off and try that. From here on in that gives us quite a nice sound, um, we can change the actual amplifier itself to be something different. Uh, so let's try a British blues amp on this one. You can see immediately that the model now becomes customised because we're changing the actual configuration of uh, setup here. So the British blues amp is going to give us this. It's quite a powerful gritty sound. The cabinet itself we can change to be something like a brown 4x12. And if you look over to the right, we can actually change the microphone that's placed in front of the speakers. So we can have a ribbon, a dynamic or a condenser. Let's change that to dynamic. And also you can change the position of the mic in front of the speaker to give a different tonality to the output sound. Change that to a condenser. Keep customising it, perhaps change the cabinet again to be a Stadium 4x12, change the amp. So you get the idea. Now as well as the selection of amp, head and microphone combinations, we can further sculpt the sound that Amp Designer gives us with the EQ and effects controls. Here's a new guitar audio file we're going to have a look at. So let's launch Amp Designer again, it's currently bypassed, and let's try and change that rather clean sound to something a bit more gritty with uh, a high octane stack. Take bypass off. Already that's really crunched the sound up into something completely different. So let's have a look at the EQ, the reverb and the effects. Uh, with EQ you have the gain control of course, to drive the effect even harder. You can change the bass, the mids and the treble. You can apply a reverb which is on at the moment, we'll take that off. With the effects section uh, you have tremolo or vibrato based effects. These can be synchronised to the tempo of the track that you're working on or free running. Let's hit those on and try a vibrato. So we take it to free. The depth can be changed. Also a bit of presence to the sound and the master output. Moving on to Pedalboard now, which is Logic 9's plugin for emulating a guitarist collection of stomp boxes. Uh, which are used for effects, overdrive, distortion, modulation, delay, filters, etc. As you'll see from the right hand side of the Pedalboard plugin, you have a selection of stomp boxes which you can scroll down and have a look at, um, all of which have specific tonality characteristics. For example, we have a uh, selection of 10 types of distortion stomp boxes, 11 for modulation, 3 for delay, 3 filter, uh, 1 dynamic, and 2 utility, which include uh, a mixer and a splitter tool.
The collection of stomp boxes on the right hand side can be dragged over to the left hand part of the screen to customize the sound, the tonality of what you're actually trying to create. If you gently hover your mouse over each individual stomp box, you can see that Logic 9 is giving you a, a brief description of the sound characteristics and application uses for each particular stomp box. So let's customize the sound that we've got. Let's try first of all some modulation. That stomp box can be switched on and off with the switch here. Let's go for some distortion. I'll try the high drive. Okay, it's a little hot. Let's turn it down a bit. And maybe some filter. So say, for example, we wanted to give some sort of stereo imagery to the three stomp boxes that we have in this particular setup. If we go to Utility, select a mixer and drag that over, we can assign one or more of the stone boxes to the channel A or B on the mixer. This will give us the opportunity to pan left or right any particular combination of stone boxes. For example, on the left hand side we have channel B, on the right hand side we have channel A. Channel A is the distortion and channel B is the phaser and the filter and you can mix between the two. As well as the hours of countless fun that guitar players and other music producers will have with the customization feature of uh, linking together individual stomp boxes. Logic 9 also provides a series of templates which will give you a collection of stomp boxes pre-designed for a specific sound. My particular favorite is the complete pedal boards which will give you uh, a themed series of stomp boxes together. For example, we go down to 70s Stadium. Immediately you'll get the sound that we had before which was this. Through Logic's definition of that particular preset. And as you'll see from this drop down menu, you've got a series of compressor, fuzz, distortion, overdrive, reverb, delay, and other filter setups to try out, including modulation. As mentioned before, the amp designer and pedal board plugins aren't necessarily the 100% domain of the guitar player. Uh, you could use them on drums, percussion, bass, synthesizers, vocals even. Let's have a bit of fun with this track. Again, that's it from me, Paul, for dv247.com. Join us next time for another Logic 9 tutorial here at dv247tv at YouTube.